Hey everyone, in today's quick video, I wanna show you how to record your Android screen. It doesn't matter what kind of phone you have as long as it's running Android on it, you could use these two techniques to record it. And I've looked at every technique there is for four years I've been recording my Android screen and these are the best two methods I've found. Okay, the first one is going to be recording your Android screen using a computer. So you could do it on a PC or a Mac and it's pretty straightforward, but it's not free. The second option I'll show you is using an app on your Android phone that records it right on your phone. So it records your screen right on your phone and then you could send it to yourself on your computer if you're editing there. I typically use the first method if I'm using my computer to edit the video. And I use the second method if I use my phone to record the video, okay? I'll show you both. So I'll put a link to this website below. Reflector 3 basically takes your Android phone or your iPhone or your iPad, whatever device you have, and wirelessly reflects it on your computer screen. And you could record it right here, and it puts it right on your desktop, the recording. And it could record up to 4K, okay? So this one you could try for free from the link below, see if you like it. I have the paid version here that I've bought, and it's been pretty much the same. I've had it since Reflector 2. It's been the same for a while. I'm sure Reflector 4 is gonna have some improvement, but it should work the same way. Now what we wanna do is we wanna open up Reflector, so I'll go ahead and open it. So here, this is what it looks like, and it's gonna ask you to scan this with your phone. I've already gone through the setup process. It's really straightforward. Let me go to the Android here. And on the Android, all I have to do is from the top, bring this down. I'll bring this down one more time. And I'm looking for an option over here called Screencast, okay? If I select this, it should pull up my Reflector 3 computer. It's gonna be the name of the computer here. And if I just select it right here, it's gonna ask me, do I want to record or cast my screen? I'm gonna say yes. And if I go to the computer right here, this is it. This is the actual phone right here. So whatever I do on my phone, you see this? I'm just doing these things to my phone and it's gonna appear right here on my computer, okay? So to record it, all I have to do is press this little record icon. But before I do that, let me show you a couple of different settings here where you could change some of the recording options. This is the broadcast name. So this is how my phone actually connected to my computer. I should mention this device and your phone should be on the same Wi-Fi, and I have Bluetooth enabled as well just in case but they do have to be on the same Wi-Fi here. Let me show you connections here because you could change the resolution over here to 4K or any number of these options that you see over here. I just have it on 1080p. Uh, you could go ahead and change this depending on your screen. I have a best for retina, I'm on a retina display. And it does have the AirPlay security where it shows you a on-screen code when you sign up for the first time. You have to put in that code from your computer here onto your Android device. And you could change a couple of things on the recording. It actually lets you change the background color uh, of what you record. I'll show you that in a second. And you could change the frame rate of your device as well. Let me just wake up my phone here and let's go ahead and press record now. I'll press record right on top. And it's actually gonna record the frame of the phone too, which is kind of interesting. And as soon as I pause my recording, Basically, it's gonna tell me to save it to a location. So I'll just save it to my desktop here. And here, this is the new recording. If I press space bar on it, this is the screen recording. Now make sure your resolution and everything is set correctly to get the best results. And if you can't see this very well, you could always extend it out to from the corners of it and then press record. But it does mirror the phone wirelessly. I'm not plugged into my computer. So that's one way to do it. And it's not my favorite way because it has a little bit of lag. So I rather directly record right on my phone but it does cut some time if you're editing on your computer. So I definitely wanted to show you that. I record my iPhone the same way too, with the same app. So you don't have to buy two different apps for iPhone and I, uh, Android phones, really easy to use. And the next one is actually an app from the Android store. And I'll put a link to it in the description as well. And let me go ahead and open it up. And M-O-B-I-Z-N, if you wanna search for it. And when you open it up, you get this little section right here. Let me actually move it. You see this M right here? If I select it, I get these options. Now, all the screen recordings that I've downloaded before on Android have the same kind of options, same kind of layout. Let me show you how it works. 
If you press the recording icon, it's gonna start recording a video of your screen, which is what we want. But there's a settings too I'm gonna to show you. I'm gonna click this second option. And right on top, there's a settings gear. So this lets you change your video recording too. Okay, so you could select this and change your video recording, your quality, and even your frame rate over here. Or you could use the recording wizard here to do all that for you. Okay, so I already selected that. There are some other options that's worth looking at. Okay, so let me exit there. So that's under the settings here. Again, the settings icon over here. And this first icon is gonna show you all your recordings once you have some. So let me go ahead and press record. And it's gonna go ahead and give me that warning again. I'll press okay, because it's gonna give me a countdown. And just like that, it's gonna start recording my screen. So whatever I do on my screen here is going to get recorded on using that app right here on my phone, okay? Once I'm done, I'm just gonna bring this down from the top, okay? You see screen recording in progress. I'm gonna select this to end it here. Okay, there we go, I'll rate you later. And now if I select this and go to this tab, I should see that new recording right here. This is a recording I just made. Okay, it's gonna show up right here. And you have some options for that recording. You could go ahead and put it in the trash can if you don't like it. You could go ahead and press this option right here to actually trim it so you could change the in and out point so you could edit it right here. Really useful option there. There's some editing options on top and you could add different clips to the beginning and end of it too. Now I usually use Adobe Premiere Rush on my phone. Adobe Premiere Rush, I'll link below. And Adobe Premiere, the regular version on the computer if I'm sending this to my computer. Okay, so that's the couple of different options that you have for editing if you don't wanna use this app or if this app is too limited here for your trimming or editing. And if you wanna send it to your computer or any other device, you could press the share icon right in the middle there and you could share it to any number of different things here. So you have lots of options. A lot of times I save it to my Google Drive here on my phone and then I just open it on my computer's Google Drive at drive.google.com, really easy, one of my favorite ways to do it. But you could send it to any number of things and even use Bluetooth here to send it to a different device, okay? And again, both of those different applications I mentioned are linked below. This one is actually free, the one I showed you on the phone with a watermark. I paid a little bit of extra money to remove that watermark, but the watermark's pretty subtle on that. Pretty much all of them that record on your phone, if they're free, they have a watermark. I haven't found a good one that doesn't. So if you wanna to pay to get that removed, you can. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow tech videos, and I'll see you next time.